Here I am in southwestern Angola, home to one of the most ingenuitive creatures in Africa. Here, meerkats live in the wild, fending for themselves. Today, I'm looking for a group of meerkats to fight. Currently, I'm walking up the desert dunes. The sun is beating down. It's hot. Suddenly, I see a head poke out of the sand. It's Marge, the matriarch. We've locked eyes. A group of meerkats is commonly referred to as a gang. So it seems I am in a gang fight. Marge has accepted the challenge and calls for the others. Charlie, the youngest adult male, comes up on my left. Using today's most effective defense techniques of Krav Maga, I roundhouse kick him in the face. How does that feel, Charlie? Beth and Sarah, Marge's eldest daughters, are jumping up on my shoulders in a double team effort. They have overcommitted and are separated from the group. I grab Sarah and use her as a club against her sister. Meerkats in the wild have a lifespan of six or seven years, but Nature and Sir David Attenborough are about to cut that short. I lunge for Samson, the eldest male who was injured in the family's last fight. He is the weak point. Claire sneaks up behind me in a ferocious attack. She latches onto my calf. Meerkats, being carnivorous cousins to mongoose, are attracted to the smell of fresh blood. But what they don't know is that I am not their typical prey. I hammer fist Claire on the spine, rendering her useless. Now the gang is unsure of itself after having lost so many members. Blood splatters over the desert ground as the fight turns to slaughter. Marge is making the last stand. I strike at her quickly and mercilessly. But I am not done. I know in this immense landscape, there are more gangs of meerkats at large. Today, they all meet their ends. It is finished. I make a mark on my tan hide blanket with a meerkat tooth recently pulled from Marge's decapitated head. Tonight, I sleep on a bed of meerkat carcasses. Another victory for Sir David Attenborough.